Welcome. You've got mail. All again. Hello. Welcome to the show. Hello. Hello. Quite a place here, isn't it? <laughs> I hope you're all going to enjoy it. Oh, you got your copy? Got mine. If you don't have yours, you know where to get it. Janeway, hit it. There's coffee in that nebula. Thank you, Captain. How's everybody doing? See everybody streaming in on the live stream. Oh, it might help if I had my microphone down here. <laughs> ah, I almost had it. Okay, let's see who's here. There's Lego Dude. There's Waka and Eric and Vengeance. Special one just for you, buddy. Uh, there's Joni and Shoka. Shaka is a Shaka? Great to see you too, sir. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. 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 hello you have hello. Limeade. Well, give me some. Doing good, Lego. Doing good. Having a Bud Light. Oh. And this one's for you, Nick. What's up? There you go. Just having a Bud. <laughs> How you doing? Welcome, man. And, of course, Florida Stanley's in the house. Florida Stanley eating his warm pretzel, having a, playing his Sudoku game. Oh, let's see. Getting rid of the turntable idea to make a new semi-truck. Oh, cool. Well, have to shoot me video or pictures or whatever over on Instagram. How's everybody's week been? Everybody doing good? Any problems? As you can see, I made it through the storm okay. Holy crap. It was crazy too. Because it was like, it was coming east from west, right? And it was coming this way, right? Going east, straight east. And it hit Alabama, hit Mobile, hit Pensacola. And just before it hit us, for some reason, everything started coming up out of the Gulf of Mexico. So instead of going, you know, because it, it like went through Pensacola in, I don't know, 10 minutes, right? And they were in the clear. But then everything started coming out of the Gulf. So I'm here in Panama City and everything just starts coming out of the Gulf. So we had hours and hours hours of storms just hitting and it, it there was no tornado warning or anything it was just a watch a couple watches but i mean they lasted from like 10 in the morning until 8 in the evening and uh just torrential rain and wind high wind we had like 30 miles an hour um, and it just kept going for hours and hours because it was just coming out of the Gulf over us instead of the East thing, which would have been past us in 10 minutes if Pensacola was any indication. So yeah, it was, it was crazy. But like I said, no tornadoes. So I was, I was fine. I actually did pretty good. Ah, let's see. You are a problem. You're not a problem, child. 
My mother is making chicken tenders in the air fryer. She made buffalo style for me with crystal hot. Ooh, crystal is good. If you're going to have hot sauce, it's either got to be Frank's or it's got to be crystal. Crystal is good. And as far as chicken tenders, I found some good ones over at um, Sam's Club. Uh, their, their own brand and their home style. And I'll, I'm going to make a video showing these things off. Because these are some of probably the best chicken nuggets, frozen chicken nuggets that I found. Um, crunch on the outside. And it's nice because the breading's not overdone, but it's crunchy and seasoned chicken on the outside and the inside. Um, stick it in the air fryer and it's just wonderful. It's tender, it's juicy, it's really, really good. So I'm going to make a video to show you guys. Yeah, Crystal is good. Weather's been bad here. Much colder Friday and for Saturday, warming up on Sunday, much warmer next week. Well, good. At least it's coming. At least it's coming. Yeah, uh, we have clear and sunny and and decently warm for me um, all throughout the end of next week. Uh, what is it right now? Mobile phone of fluff. It is... Yeah, man. What you doing? Just thinking about it. Come on, give me the update. It was a high of 75 today. Okay, so it's 67 right now. And it's sunny and warm through at least Thursday. That's the cutoff point of the weather forecast there. Um, but so 75 today, 80 tomorrow, 80 Sunday, 79 Monday, 82 Tuesday. Ooh, it's getting warmer. 80 Wednesday and 82 Thursday. Wow. I'm going to have to go down to Zoo World on Wednesday because they have this little baby lion now. This little baby. He's so cute. And his name's Z. And they only have him out from 9.30 to 10.30 a.m. on Sundays and or Saturdays and Wednesdays. So I'm going to have to go down Wednesday and see him. I'll show you a picture of him. He's really, really cute. Um, they're kidney friendly for me, so it's not overly salty or loaded with all potassium like other chicken is. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll have to show you those. So so stay tuned. I'll, I'll make a video. Hey, Shell. What's up, man? How you doing? Hello. Welcome to the stream, buddy. So, uh, sound, video, everything okay? Everything looks good over here. Uh, what'd you, what'd you think of the new intro? I'm still working on it, but I think I've got it to where I, I, at least I've got it to where I like it enough to put it out there. Um, but both those songs were strictly AI generated. I put in a prompt for groovy disco, 70s music, um about food reviews and youtube um and that's what it spit out i i've got a number of them those were the favorites that i had uh but i'm still going to work on that prompt a little bit see if i can get it a little more focused on what i like but yeah i thought it turned out pretty good Top notch, good sir. Well, thank you, good sir. Weather weather is weird there where you are, Vengeance. What's up with that, body? So we're gonna do a review tonight and talk about some stuff. Yeah. Absolute absolutely. Sweetly. Uh let's see. So what up I have? Here, let me go ahead and show you Z, as long as I've got him on my brain. Uh, let me go ahead and go over to the Facebook page for Zoo World, and I'll show you some pictures of Z. They always take pictures of him now, because he's so cute. Okay, uh, Zoo World. Oh, they got uh, the, they got a little picture of his nose on the front. Okay, um, let me go ahead and bring you over to the desktop. There we go. 
Um, all right. Let's see. Oh, that's the kookaburra there. He's so cool. He makes such cool sounds. Here's your goat. <laughs> yeah, he likes Zen film lemurs. Where's Z? Oh, there's our hyenas. They're cuties. That guy is so weird. He is so weird. That guy can pee. I think it's 12 feet, six feet, six feet. I think he can pee six feet as a defense. Isn't that crazy? There's Z. There's little Z right there. Ain't he cute? And I got other pictures of him. Here's our llama. Here's some of the flamingos there. There's our emus, one of our emus. These things are mean things. Look at that sloth there. He's taking a nap. There's some of our kangaroos. Oh, well, there's some of our capybaras. I think that's Peanut. He's the oldest one. Uh, there's one of our alligators, one of our many, many alligators. We have like 60 at the zoo. There's another picture of Z. Hi, Z, you cutie. There's some more kangaroos with a, a little joey there. And there's our wonderful Sita. That's a uh, that's our, our, our local tiger. Oh, <laughs> they're dressed up with the capybaras. There's some of the bunnies. There's Z. That's a good picture of Z. Absolute cutie right there. Cutie, cutie, cutie. I love you, Z. I'll see you soon. I'll see you Wednesday. Okay, let's go back to the main chat. There we go. Main chat. Oh, the, the chat stayed up. I like that. So it didn't like uh, start all completely over. That's cool. I like that. Uh, let me bring up over here too. Ever had mushroom jerky? Hey, Albert. How you doing, man? Hello. Hello. I have never had mushroom jerky. Hello. 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 Never. Is that the guy from the old gum tree? The old gum tree? I don't know what that is, Nick. Fill me in. Oh, you've had emu before? I didn't. I've never had emu before. They're mean, though, man. I got I got snapped at by an ostrich. Drew friggin' drew blood under the skin. When they're ostriches, I got too close to him, I guess, and he he snapped me. Just kind of startled me more than anything else. It kind of stung at first, but it just drew blood under the skin. He didn't break the skin. Yes, they are tall. Old song about the kookaburra. Oh, really? Kookaburra, old gum tree. That sounds really familiar now that you say that. But I, I, I can't hear it in my head. Hmm. Been doing good, Albert. Doing good. Everything. Everything be everything. So, um, the 26th of April is Nas National Pretzel Day. And if you have an Annie Ann's around you, and you have to have the app, you have to have a be a rewards member on their app, which is just a matter of signing up and getting their app. But on the 26th, on National Pretzel Day, you can get a free regular or a cinnamon sugar pretzel with no purchase necessary. Just on, and that's good news because I I like their pretzels for the most part, and and free is even better. But um, down at where Annie Ann's is down at Pier Park in Panama City Beach, and they want eight dollars for a pretzel, eight freaking dollars, and there's no way in hell 
I would pay $8 for a pretzel, but I will go down and get one for free. So I'll make a day of it, of course. I'll go down to the beach and enjoy the beach and grab my pretzel and and walk around and shop at Pier Park and all kinds of stuff. But I want to let you guys know that. So if you have an Annie's around you and you don't have the app, go ahead and download that sucker from the Google Play Store or the iStore or whatever that is and uh, get a free pretzel. Yeah. Um, hey, Bunny, how are you? What's happening, hot stuff? Did good through the storm. It lasted a very long time, like I was telling everybody else. It, it went from west to east, at least through Pensacola, and then once it hit around Panama City, it started coming up from the Gulf. And so instead of going over us in a sh relatively short time, it started, just kept coming up from the Gulf of Mexico and lasted for hours and hours and hours. And the wind lasted through the entire night. So it was like 25 miles an hour through the entire freaking night. I ended up putting on my Sony ear, my, my noise canceling headphones and uh, just, just turn on some nice background music. I was listening and, in the headphones and I slept like that. Well, thank you for asking. Uh, stuff is getting costly. I had a large tea today from Tim Hortons and it was two eighty six. Oh yeah, that's crazy. So what would that be in American? Two eighty six. I don't know what the equivalent would be in US dollars. I've never had the, I did know the uh, the hot dog bites was Nathan's from Annie Ann's. I love Nathan's hot dogs, but I've never had the hot dog bites. Yeah, $8 for one pretzel. Yeah, April, April 26th. Funny. Michael is in the house. How you Hello. doing, man? Our power went out a few seconds, but the reserves made it back on. Oh, good. Wind is worst. I hate that. Yeah. Um, I think it's a combination of everything for me. If it's just wind, I'm not... That doesn't freak me out as much as a combination of wind and rain. Um, you know, if it's just something single, although thunder, I just don't like thunder, period, and, and lightning and stuff like that. But I mean, if it's just wind or it's just rain, I really don't have the, I, I don't get too anxious about that. But when it's, when they team up, tag team up together, I don't like that. Not much new for fast food lately. There's a few things coming out, but you're right. Not much. Oh, Joan, Joni. So you got to go. Can't you plug in? You just got here. Well, if you got to, then it was nice having you, dear. I'm glad you showed up. But if you can plug in, love to have you stay for the review and talking and chatting and drinking coffee. We had a severe thunderstorm and a tornado warning. Yeah, warnings don't freak me out. When it gets over to be a tornado watch, that means there's an actual tornado on the ground. That freaks me out. I mean, we had the tornado warnings. We had two of those, one down at the beach and one local here uh, for like from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. It was crazy. Taco Bell coming out with chicken nuggets. Now, see, if they do those the way they did their chicken wings, I will be all over those suckers. Oh, man, I love those chicken wings. That is probably the best thing I have ever had out of Taco Bell. Hey, Meek. What's up, buddy? Hello. How you hello, doing? Hello. On the road hello, right hello, now. Hello. On the road again. Just can't wait. So are you headed home or where are you going? Needed my tablet. Be restored. Be restored, I say. Tablet. Getting the Cotton Candy Burger King thing. I, I, I don't know. I'm still kind of iffy about going to BK. You're not at home and don't have a charger. Okay, well, you can't do what you can't do anything about. So, anyway, it's nice to have you here, Joni. Hope to see you again soon. 
Thanks for coming. Prices go up, quality goes down. That's true. A storm bunker. I do not. I have a closet <laughs> that I go into if things get too scary. Um, $9.99 for a five piece. That would be stupid. That would be stupid. Then, I mean, of course, I'm not re I'm not adding price to my reviews anymore, but I have no problem telling you if a price is stupid. But that would be stupid. So Grubhub is less than DoorDash. Got it. Out with family in Lehigh? Is it Lehigh? Lehi? Lehi? That sounds more right. Is it Lehi? Right now, trying to get home. Trying to get home. Are you stuck in traffic? Wendy's Canada got a French onion cheese. Oh, that sounds good. I'd be all over that, Nick. French onion cheeseburger. That'd be really interesting. So is it done in the fashion of French onion soup? Wow, that'd be good. So um, Psycho's not here yet, but I'm going to ask anyway. Who watched WrestleMania? Who got to see WrestleMania? Wow, that was good. I'm telling you, with, with, um, with uh, Triple H in charge now, they, they've got me back into WWE. I mean, now that Vince is gone, things are starting to turn around. I like the fact that they're calling it pro wrestling now. Talking pro wrestling, saying pro wrestling outside now, um, or, or a lot more often now, which is very cool. Uh, they're getting, they're going back to some of the old school stuff, and uh, they they don't seem to be as anal as they were when Vince was in charge. So yeah. Um, Lehigh. Oh, so I, I, so I pronounced it right the first time. Okay. Got it. Caramelized onions and crispy runs on us. Oh, ooh. Yeah, I'd be all over that. Can't get into new WWE. Now, you've watched it. Did Have you watched it since Paul Levesque has been in charge, Triple H, and since Vince has been gone? Because, I mean, it's good now. I mean, finally, I can start watching WWE without puking my guts out and how horrible it is. I enjoyed WrestleMania, Nick said. I did, too. I thought it was good. I watched all both days. I didn't watch the first two hours because it was just like, you know, rehashing stuff and everything. But then when they got into the matches, then I stuck with it. Been watching Doc Martin now. I've never seen that. Some of it, but not in the last few days. Or like, oh, okay. Start watching it, Albert, because for the longest time, I was a WWE basher. And it's not because of the company. It was because of what Vince was doing to the wrestlers. It was the storylines. It was the matches. I don't hate a company. I don't hate a wrestling company to just hate a wrestling company. You cannot call yourself a true wrestling fan um, because you, you judge things on individual basis based on the matches and the stories and the wrestlers and stuff like that, not on a company. So I love all wrestling, uh, but I did not like what WWE had become. Um, but after watching it recently, it's just like, oh, I'm on board now. So I can, I watch TNA. I watched, uh, I watch NWA. I watch uh, AEW. I watch WWE now. So yeah, I'm, I've just got my fill of wrestling. Um, also watching the Tricky, Tricky the Harp Dragon. I don't know what that is. Undertaker took me by surprise also, Nick. Yeah, I mean, everybody was supposed to, I mean, I guess it was supposed to be Austin. But for some reason, Austin just couldn't come to a financial agreement. But Undertaker could. The leader of the locker room for so many, many years. So I guess Undertaker just loves the business more than Austin does. And, and, and you're telling me 
that Cena could come back, um, and Undertaker could come back, and Rock could come back, but Austin couldn't because of finances? I don't know. That kind of makes him look like a slime bag, I think. Do you have a pot billy sandwich near you? That's is that the name of the place, Albert? Um, if that's the name of the place, no, I've never heard of that. There's Psycho. We're talking WrestleMania hello, right now or hello. WWE. Hello, hello, Putting hello. another log on the fire. Then cook me up some bacon and some beans. There you go. Went out to the car and changed the tire. Wow, you're just all over the place. Oh, no, it was warm here today. No log on the fire for me. Yeah, Vince Vince is a slime bag. Little human trafficking, like you to poop on me, piece of garbage. So, yeah, I'm glad he's gone. And, and did you see the night before with uh, Paul Heyman uh, when he was inducted into the Hall of Fame and that, that promo that he did, that speech that he gave, saying that he is a Triple H, a Paul Levesque fanboy or, or man or whatever he said. He gave props to Paul. He did not mention Vince once. I was convinced he would show, but sadly, no. Apparently, he wanted to spend time with his family. Oh, uh you, you are you talking um are you talking steve yeah whatever i mean it it, it would have cost him what 15 minutes i mean all he had to do was show up fly in show up make an appearance and then go back i i think he sucks because he did that um, can you try the new Applebee's deal called Whole Lot of Bacon Burger with fries for $9.99? Um, trying to think if there's an app. Yeah, I think we have an Applebee's. Um, I'll look into it. Always, Austin always was about the money. Well, that's sad. That's too bad. There's a lot of guys who just love it for the business. A garbage plate. What is a garbage plate? Kenneth. Kenneth. Who said Kenneth? I'm looking for Kenneth. Psycho said, hi, Kenneth. Who is Kenneth? I don't see Kenneth here. KFC has 4.99 deal. Yeah, I saw that. The th the thing is that the 4.99 deal it it they insist that you have the potatoes and gravy instead of giving you the option of what side you want. And it's funny because the 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 next one up with um what is it? Is it four pieces? Something like that. Um insists that you have two potatoes and gravy. And then the next one up, the $20 one for, I can't remember how many pieces. Is it eight, 10 or something? And, and two sides and biscuits and stuff like that. Then you can get any sides you want. Or is it four sides? I don't know. But anyway, why, why do they do that? Why don't you say, okay, well, you can have whatever side you want. Instead of saying, no, you've got to have two mashed potatoes and gravy. It's just like, what? But that's just what I read. Yeah. Yeah, everybody seems to use that, you know, no matter who it is. Oh, I did this. I stepped away because I wanted more time to with my family. I mean, that's such a cliche. They always say that. And there's always, a, you all, always know that there's something else going on. OJ Simpson. Yep. Bye, OJ. You big piece of crap, killing your wife and stuff. Don't miss you. Won't miss you. Bye. Bye, Joey. <laughs> Joey says, bye. Get lost, OJ. 
That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. Came out with everything bagel cup noodles. Yes, they did. And I reviewed it. Review will be up on Monday. I tried it. Freddy, how are you, sir? What's up? How you doing? Hey, man, love your videos. Well, thank you, sir. Good to have you. Welcome to the stream. Do you have your coffee? Got your coffee. Janeway knows where it is for you. There's coffee in that nebula. Four-piece meal at KFC Canada is like 18... Oh, that's insane. That's stupid. Wow. That's, that's out of control. See, I like I like their potatoes and gravy. I always have. You know, n nothing's ever as good as it used to be, but I still like their potatoes and gravy. I really like Popeyes because they have that Cajun gravy. CFA? What is CFA? Has testing new pretzel cheddar club. That sounds interesting. Another player. Well, good. Glad you got another one. The new Subway lavish flatbread is terrible. I had it the other night. So, so, so what? What is on that hour? You have beer. Okay. Well, whatever your your drink of choice is, it's all good. It's all good. That's what she said. And Shell's drink, uh, are you drinking Mountain Dew right now? You need to recharge yourself. <laughs> yourself? Michael only has 10% power. He's going to power down here for a minute. We only got potatoes and gravy at KFC like last year. Oh, yeah. Okay. Things change, though. Sometimes things change. And usually not for the better. It's a new style of flatbread. Well, what exactly is on it, Albert? Oh, you got to eat your fries. Just got home from fishing. Ah, did you catch anything? Where, where'd you fish? Uh, and what'd you catch? Psycho loves flat bit, flatbreads from, from Subway. I think I may have had one a long time ago. I think it was a breakfast one. And I, I think I remember liking it. Oh, your tablet. Okay, I thought you were running out of energy there. You had to recharge yourself. Um, Let's see. What else was I going to talk about? So we talked kind of about a little bit about the main event of WrestleMania. But I thought the whole thing was pretty good. I liked it. All right, Michael. Well, you have a good one, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. If you can plug in and, and stay, that'd be cool. In Keensburg, New Jersey, one little one little stripper. <laughs> Freddie Freddy caught one little stripper. Okay, we don't want this is a family show. We don't want to hear about your one little stripper. <laughs> <laughs> but at least you caught something right i i don't know i've never had that kind of fish i don't know what that's like i'm drinking mountain okay so you're drinking mountain dew right now wow you're a gamer for life for sure hey chevy how you doing yeah we were talking oh, about paul no. um Hello. paul talking oh, about no. uh, being a paul Levesque guy on his uh, induction speech. Um, didn't even mention Vince once. It's like he erased Vince completely, which sounds good. Nintendo shut down online services for Wii U. and uh, Really? That sucks. They're just, they, they just get stupider and stupider. Oh, striped bass. Okay. See, I'm, I, I'm not a... I am I have never fished. I have never fished, but I I told myself, see, I found fishing poles, good fishing poles in um 
the shed of the house that I bought. Um, and um, so I plan on going fishing for the first time now that I'm here in Florida. Fishing off the bridges and docks, I'll, I'll probably not go out in a boat. I don't know, maybe I will. I don't have a boat, though. have to find some friend with a boat. Yes, I have been getting the Arby's free sandwiches deal. And if you guys don't know about that, Arby's is giving away a free sandwich every week uh, for four weeks. The first, uh, we're in the second week right now. But you can get a free sandwich with any purchase. And usually what I get is I get the, uh, like, uh, a curly fry, one of their curly fries, and then a free sandwich. I had a French dip the first time. And the second one, I put up a picture on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, I had the corned beef uh, sandwich with the, the nice sauerkraut on it and stuff. And Thousand Island dressing. It was good on rye bread. It was good. So that was my first two. The stripers here smell like low tide, man. Really? Well, that doesn't sound promising. <laughs> but don't be sniffing the fish, whatever you do. Florida has the best fishing in the USA. That's true. That is true. There are so many. I, I've watched a lot of videos, and there's this local show down here. And I like to watch it. I've just never done it. Um, and there are so many types of fish that you can catch down here. And of course, the seafood is the bestest, yummiest, except for crab. I've never had the blue crab yet, even though I've been here for two and a half years. But the Dungeness crab over on the West Coast, that is the best. That is the best crab, in my opinion, that you can ever get. It's just big and juicy and yummy, and it's wonderful. Uh, also listening to Michael Ness. Ah, Michael Nesmith from the Monkeys. Nice. Hey, Brass. How you doing, man? Hello. Nice hello. seeing you. Hello. Fish for snook or tarpon? Hello, hello, hello. Okay. I will see what I can do. And I'm sure that when I do it, I'll, I'll bring you with me. I'll bring a camera with me. Yes, it's the Reuben. That's the Reuben sandwich. Yeah, it was cool. It was good. I liked it. Of course, I like the French dip better than the. It's just French dip with au jus sauce. There's just something cozy about that, you know. Too far. Now I looked at Wendy's to see if that Dave, the Dave specials were gone, and I saw that they were gone. So if they got something new like that out, then it just must have gotten here. Welcome to Free Friday. What's better than our hot and crispy fries free ones? Get free any size fries with purchase via in-app offer today. Okay, well, I won't be going today. Okay, so let's look at the offers. Offers. Okay, so we got $1 any size soft drink. Um. Uh, free small frosty with purchase two for four junior bacon cheeseburger and small fry choose two for eight so that's what you're talking about choose two for eight dave singles classic chicken that's four dollars a piece eh, it's not a great deal okay but but the other deals are gone still yeah that sucks i like getting those friggin two dollars for a double dave's was awesome Great deal. Strippers? We're not going to be talking about strippers. <laughs> Ready? This is a family show. Talking about strippers. <laughs> TikTok has claimed they were banned here, but news to me. I don't know what's going on. I love TikTok. So many people hate TikTok for the wrong reasons. It's like they've never even used it. Or they're watching the wrong stuff because TikTok, their algorithm, is just like any other algorithm. What you like and what you watch more of and comment on, that's what gets 
served up to your feed. So if you're watching crap, of course you're going to be getting crap. But I mean, I want I see some great stuff. I see animal videos. I see Christian stuff. I see uh, what else? Um, travel stuff. I'm watching this one gal who's traveling on the Margaritaville cruise line ship uh, out of Miami, and she's doing daily vlog updates. Um, what else? Oh, of course, I watch some silly stuff, some funny stuff to make me laugh. Um, educational stuff. I see how-to stuff. I see people doing uh, food reviews. I see people who are doing all what's new at Aldi on this week. People doing coupon stuff at Publix. Um, there's this gal that I watch who does secret shopper stuff. And I like to hear her stories. So, I mean, it, 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 if these people knew what TikTok actually was, they would not hate it. Because it's just like watching YouTube. It's just like watching Instagram. It's just a different platform with a different set of video types and stuff like that. But it's the same thing. Garbage in, garbage out. You watch good stuff, you're going to get good stuff. And I, you can always follow people and unfollow people and, and, you know, TikTok is awesome. It's my favorite platform, even over YouTube. I, I Before I go to bed, I sit and see, I sleep in a chair. I sleep in a, a recliner. And before I go to bed, I watch probably a good hour of TikTok, easy, before I go to sleep. That's just my, my nightly ritual type thing. So you think two singles for eight bucks is a good deal? I, I still must be living way back in the 80s or something. Ay caramba! But you spelled them the same. Strippers are dancers and strippers are fish. So how do I know which one you're talking about? You went out and caught a stripper. <laughs> The debut album in 68 was a instrumental album. Oh, okay. See, now you said, see, Striper, how you're spelling it with one P, that's Stripers. So Stripers, right? We're never going to get this right. Um, <laughs> never mind. Now it's fun to talk about. It's fun to go back and forth about. Uh, yeah, I have a Dairy Queen close. <laughs> Wendy's coming out with new bacon, so it probably would be cheap pre-cooked trap. New bacon? Is it like regular bacon, or is it like sweet, or, or peppered, or what? Oh yeah, Supermarket Sweep. That's uh, I still watch that occasionally on Pluto TV. They have a channel dedicated to 24-7 Supermarket Sweep. Old stuff, not the new thing. The new thing is stupid. Pizza is delicious too, absolutely. Where do you get your pizza from, Freddie? Do you have a, like local places there or do you get it from chains like Caesars, Little Caesars? I was banned from TikTok? Why? What did you do? Recorded in three days. Oh, okay. Eric sleeps in a recliner too. Doesn't surprise me, man. We seem to be two peas in a pod. Yeah, I've slept in a recliner for years now. Yeah, it. I. I, I can't sleep flat anymore. I mean, eventually I may get one of those uh, special beds that, you know, you can kind of shift and recline them and stuff like that. I don't know. I mean, I'm happy with what I have. It's just comfortable and I can sleep well. Pepperidge Farm bakes new lemon blueberry flavored swirl bread. Oh, that sounds good. I love lemon stuff. All I see on my Instagram is scantily clad women shaking. The... What? 
Well, okay, so so go ahead and just just you know like turn those off, like make it so uh, Instagram doesn't show you that stuff, and and just you know manipulate the algorithm by liking stuff, commenting on stuff that you like, following channels that you like, and and getting rid of channels that you don't, and it should figure it out. Although Instagram, I. Instagram is not as good as it used to be. Uh, Double Dare 2000. Double Dare. Next stuff is on Max, I believe. You can watch old classic Nickelodeon stuff from on, on Max, the streaming service. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's Max. Wrecking Crew. Okay, I remember them. Anthony's Pizza, best boardwalk. Oh, so it must be a local place. I I love local places. Uh, yeah, I did a couple reviews of Red Robin. I've I've I think I even got a playlist for it. Not very many, uh, but I did them back back in Vancouver. We don't have any around here, um, but I I did a couple reviews of Red Robin. Yes, I have avoided liking any of those temptresses posts and clicked do not show me, but a week later they showed up again. That's annoying. Yeah, I I rarely get stuff in my feeds on anything that I do don't like that I don't watch. Oh, I'd love to try New Jersey pizza, but they don't have New Jersey pizza here in Florida. That's the problem. Leon Russell share Mickey Dolan's and more nice. Church Street in Kensington. Kensington is it Keens Kings Keensburg, New Jersey? Awesome cheese. Oh. I love Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. Oh my gosh, one of my favorites. I love getting those. Built a steering mechanism. That's cool. That would be fun. Pictures where it didn't happen. Absolutely. Yeah, I, it, since, you know, they, they got rid of the sip and save over at, um, over at um, Circle K, I've been getting... My coffee, I've been making it both at home or I've been getting the uh, offer on McDonald's, a dollar or 99 cents for any size coffee. So I've been getting large coffees there occasionally. That's what I'm drinking now. Pizza cupcakes. Um, are you talking the ones from Shark Tank? I have not found those yet. I have not. No, and I keep my eyes out for them every time I'm at Walmart because they're supposed to be um, at Walmarts and I still can't find them. I contacted them a while back to see if they would send me some for a review and I never heard back from them. So, on them. I tell you. Um, I went over to, uh, Cracker Barrel today and I love their shop. They, they have those who don't know, they have this little store that, that has all kinds of stuff that you can buy before you actually go into the restaurant and they have good prices too. Look at this guy that I got. I just love him. He's just so cool. Dig him. Isn't he cool? A pelican dude. And he's holding a uh, life preserver. And uh, it, it, it's interesting. I just noticed this guy's holding the life preserver. There was another one holding a boat. But I guess I got the life preserver one. That's okay. He's cool. But anyway, he's, he's, he's not wood. I'm not sure what he's made out of. Uh, but it's not plastic. Uh, but anyway, he's got his little, his little pelican feet there. And uh, yeah. Four dollars and ninety nine cents. I love his little sailor hat there. Four dollars and ninety nine cents for him. Oh yeah, he's cool. Just 
making up my my you know my area in nerdy stuff and nautical stuff i love nautical stuff Mar maruka's tomato pies on the boardwalk oh okay so there's there's something do you know of that place freddie that psycho's talking about oh you're leaving all right well thanks for stopping by freddie appreciate it buddy come by anytime Dippin' Dots. Oh, yeah, we've got uh, uh, the the Gulf World that we have here, which is the big aquarium. They serve Dippin' Dots and stuff like that. It's good. The, the Ghostbuster guy. No, it, it's a pelican. It's a pelican. What do you mean the Ghostbuster guy? You mean Stay Puffed? It's a pelican. Silly boy. All right. See you later, Freddie. Take care, buddy. Yeah, four ninety nine. Their prices are really good for all kinds of stuff. They've they've got some really interesting snacky and food type stuff and drink type stuff there too that I've been thinking about doing a review. I will be going over to Sam's Club because I want to try. I want to review for you guys. The pepperoni pizza pretzel, a large soft pretzel covered with melted cheese and pepperoni and sauce. And I'm going, and it's like $1.58, I think it is, or $1.99. I think it's $1.99. And I'm going, oh, man, this looks good. It sounds good. Cheap price. Make a good review. So, yeah, I'll be doing that soon, too. Um, did you know that Dr. Trey is not a licensed physician? Oh, I'm kind of afraid of that one. Yeah, 93 years old. Clint's up there. Awesome. I, another thing that I got recently is um, I'm trying to make a lot of my editing stuff and, and a lot of my video stuff run a lot smoother. I mean, it runs really great with no hiccups, but I always like to have a lot of breathing room. Plus, remember the guy that came in that uh, gifted me the ship for Star Citizen? Uh, anyway, uh, it, Star Citizen is not really optimized because after 12 years, it's still in alpha. And it's not really optimized, so it kind of chugs at areas. So I'm going, you know what? I found a good price on memory. So I got it the other day. Uh, there it is right there, Rip Jaws. That's 32 gigs of memory, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to be going double on my memory. I've got 16 gigs in the, the computer right now, but I'm going up to 32. I don't know. I, I think, you know, it depends on who you talk to. I don't know if I can put, and maybe you, some of you guys know, can I put 32 and add the, the 16 in there and make 48? Can I actually run 48 or should I just stick to these two? I hear that sometimes, depending on who you talk to, it can make your system unstable if you do that. But I mean, all of them are rip jaws. And this is the exact memory that I have in the computer right now, except it's 16 instead of 32. So, I mean, the memory is the exact same. DDR4, uh, Rip Jaws, um, and so it's exactly the same. So I, do, I wouldn't think it would be unstable if I put everything in there and went up to 48. But if not, then I'm going to be happy with 32. Ever been to Legoland? I never have. I, I'm not even sure where that is. What's my favorite brand of hot dog? Um, for the longest time, I never knew there was a difference until I tried Nathan's and then I'm going, there is a difference in hot dogs, but I don't know what kind of hot dogs Sam's club uses, but I love the Sam's club hot dogs. They have a nice snap when you bite into them and they are very flavorful. So I like those and, and maybe they use Nathan's. 
I don't know. But I mean, if they do, they're charging even a better price than what I thought. Because Nathan's hot dogs are pretty premium hot dogs. But I can get a hot dog combo at Sam's Club for $1.58. And it's a hot dog and a, a medium drink. I think it's a medium drink. It may be a large drink. I'm not sure what their large drinks look like. Anyway, it's a good size drink. Dollar fifty eight for both of those. Can you review your past food? Your past fast food experience. What do you mean review them? That's going back like ten years, buddy. I don't know what you're talking about. That sounds that sounds way over the top for me. If it's the exact memory, same speed, then yes, it's okay. Good to know. I have four. I have four RAM slots. I have, um, I looked at, uh, what's it called? Let's see. I'm, I'm looking right here. Um, let's see. Where is it? Where is it on here? I have this. Oh, did I? Oh, yeah. The, wait. I thought I saw it a minute ago. No, that's not it. I'm looking through my my start menu. Um. I mean, it reads everything, and it tells me exactly where everything is and how much I've got of everything. Um, where is it? Okay, all of a sudden, I'm not finding it. Do I have a shortcut on my desktop? I think I do. My desktop is so messy. Oh, it's called RSI Launcher. Wait, no, no, that's not it. RSI Launcher is, is Star Citizen. Um. Okay, well, anyway, it's, it's somewhere here. But anyway, it reads everything in my system and tells me exactly what I have. And I've got a... Um, I've got the 16s in slot one and slot three. So if I put so if I put the 32s, if I replace that in slot one and slot three, and then put the 16s in two and four, would I be okay? Yeah, I hear that Costco has good hot dogs too, Nick. Five twelve gig SD mini card, nice in your tablet. I think you told me that. So you think that Nathan's is the one in the Costco dogs? So I wonder if it's Sam's too, because they taste very. I mean, Sam's is definitely a premium dog. Um, so I'm thinking it may be a Nathan's too, if that's the truth. Um, like a 10 year summary video rating each video and you're, no, that wouldn't be happening. I've got over 1600 videos, Albert. There's no way that would be, that would take so long. I don't know how long it would take, but half my lifetime. If your current memory has a speed of say 2400 and you put in RAM this, see, no, uh, one thing that I made sure is uh, my 16 is 3,200. This is 3,200. So, I mean, like I said, everything is exactly the same except for the size. 32 instead of 16 here. But everything's the same. 32 or 3,200, 3,200, DDR4, DDR4, uh, rip jaws, rip jaws. So, it's all the same. No, I don't have an Alienware. I have a uh, PC that my son put together for me. Uh, he, he just went through. He knew what the best stuff was. He went ahead and 
uh, conferred with me on it. We got together, and that's, that's the way I always do it. I don't know the way I'm going to do it now, next time I have to upgrade, since he's still back in Vancouver. May have to have him come down just for that. But um, he, we just buy different parts, the best of the best, and then he puts it together for me. Oh, I remember the Enchanted Forest in Salem. Been there many times as a kid. Cost $27 now? That's insane. That's not worth that. Because if I remember correctly, hardly anything, if anything, moves there. It's just like a big walkthrough through the forest with all kinds of stuff that you can look at and go in and stuff. That's ridiculous. $27. That's insane. Do I miss Windows 95? No, I do not. I miss Windows um, 7. Then I should be great. Good to hear. Okay. Hey, gamer girl just got off work. There you go. How you doing? What's happening, hot stuff? So how was work today? So you have two slots free for RAM. Yes, I have four slots and I have two 16 gigs in uh one in slot one one in slot three so what i planned on doing is taking those out of one and three replacing it with the 32 and then putting the 16 in two and four um i'm here for the last few minutes of the stream well no we're we're still going we'll probably go till nine we've got a review to do girly friend so you're good. You think Gold Dust should be in the Hall of Fame? I think um um I think Dustin should be. Not necessarily Gold Dust, but Dustin. Ship him to Florida. That's right. Well, he can afford to fly himself. So yeah, he needs to come down. See his old dad. He he just had a birthday. He is 35. He had a birthday on the 10th. So happy birthday to my son. I, I I told him already. But yeah, my son is 35. That's crazy. One customer was rude. Well, I, I guess that's not a bad percentage. What they do. No one has claimed the Powerball jackpot. What was that up to? Have I ever had clam chowder? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm I'm not a fan of the Manhattan clam chowder, the one that that's red, uh, but I love New England clam chowder. Absolutely. I mean, I I come from the Pacific Northwest, so you know, whenever I'd go down, especially when I'd go down to the beach, uh, there I would have. Uh, um, clam chowder at a place called Moe's which is wonderful but yeah I love clam chowder good clam chowder made the stirring work nice 1.3 billion holy moly gargonzoli that's crazy All right, now you say no one's claimed it does that mean that somebody actually won a single person actually won it but they no one's claimed it. Have I ever steamed asparagus? No, I don't like asparagus. No, I don't. And I never have. And I probably never will. Yes, one person in Oregon. One person won it. In Oregon, too. 1.3 billion. Holy cow. That's crazy. Wow. Man, I would never have to think of anything ever again. I might just do live streams with you guys. If I won that much money, I would I would do live streams to connect with you guys, and that's probably it. Yeah. And other than that, I'd retire completely from everything. My computer would be used strictly for streaming. 
and um, that's it in gaming. One customer was rude to me when I asked for his ID to purchase alcohol. I tried to explain that it was company policy, but he claimed it. Was... Well, he's a he's a moron. Oh, he was fifty one. Well, yeah, he, he, when you when you hit that age, you're kind of. Like, I mean, I would still do it. It's no big deal. It's just like going like that. I mean, I swear, there's people that have asked for my ID when doing that, and ju it's just because it's policy, you know, um, at, at Walmart and stuff like that. And I always say, well, thank you. Thank you for thinking I look that young that I need to give you my ID. It was sold in Portland of all places. Wow, that's close to home. I probably have a heart murmur. He said, my coworker and I are the only people who ID him. He said, none of our... Uh... Well, see, that's just it. If, if not every one of the employees is following the policy, then that makes you guys look bad. That makes everybody look bad, but it makes it makes it hard on you guys who are following the rules. So that that's not good. And you know, if he if he's fifty one years old, he should be able to understand that that could get you guys your license your license to sell pulled, yanked. And I mean, who knows? I mean, it's just like the the gal that I watch on TikTok, who's the secret shopper. She went in and her objective at this one place to was to buy cigarettes and and tell them that she had forgotten her ID. Right? So she did that and the person who sold it to her said, "Oh, okay, that's fine." Sold her the cigarettes. And it was part of her instructions that she had to go back in and do a reveal and talk to the manager. And that that gal got written up for, for not following policy. So you never know. So you're doing the right thing, gamer girl. Just keep it up. Just because your your fellow employees don't do that, that's I mean, you you should keep doing that. Here they have to scan your ID for tobacco, beer, or anything like that to even do the sale. Ah, okay. Eventually showed his ID, got his alcohol, and left the store cursing. Oh, why? What's so hard about that? That's stupid. I mean, that's not even anything that's a violation of his constitutional rights. It's store policy. And it's probably state policy. Or it's probably state law. And and it's just like... if it, it's, some people are so self unaware. Yeah, it takes two seconds to show your ID. What's the big deal? I mean, of course, when it comes to cops, that's a different matter altogether. All I don't do the Nazi thing of cops just going, well, you know, unless I've broken a law, cop is nothing to me except somebody in a costume. Um, if I've broken a law, and then I've got to show my ID. But as far as not, and, and we don't have cops down here like that. Uh, at least here in the panhandle, we don't. We have cops, especially in the panhandle and, and some of the other areas here in Florida that says, you know, somebody comes in your house, blow them away. You know, it, it, they protect the citizens here. They don't protect the criminals here. I mean, DeSantis just signed into law, uh, a law on, I mean, he's he's done a lot of great stuff, but he just signed into law, a law about squatters. If you are a squatter and you try and take over somebody's home, not only can the owner physically remove you, but the cops can be called and the cops will immediately remove you and put you in jail. Squatters have zero rights around here, as they should. Enchanted Forest and Turner, Oregon. Yeah, that's what, that's, who was telling me about that? That's insane. $27 a person is nuts. Yes, Gamer Girl did the right thing. And uh, let, let your fellow employees get in trouble. I mean, if it was me, I would be telling your manager, 
and saying, you know what, this is making everybody look bad. And this is especially hard on me because if nobody else is asking for ID for, for these items and I do, then they come back and say, oh, well, the, 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 so-and-so didn't make me show ID. That, that's wrong. It's got to be consistent straight across the board. And your manager should appreciate that. Yeah, customer service is a pain in the butt. Tell you about the worst customer I had. Okay. Finish the chassis on the semi-truck. I'll send you a link after the live is over. Okay, nice. Could have reversed the rules and said either show your ID or you're banned from the store. Then call the cops and say he's banned. Now he's trespassing. Yep, could have done that. Yeah, that'd be easy. Well, I mean, he wouldn't be officially trespassing unless he was trespassed. And that gives him the option to leave. You've got to be given the option to leave before you can be trespassed or, or be arrested for trespassing. Um, so you've got to be saying, okay, the store says you're trespassed. Are you going to leave? If you leave, that's the end of the story. But if you don't, after you've been trespassed, then you can be arrested for trespassing. Customer come up to buy alcohol. I asked for his ID. He said he didn't have one. He then said he shouldn't have to show his ID because he's 67. Well, I think we've already covered that. It doesn't matter. It takes like two seconds. Show me your ID. It's just store policy. Go through the motions. It's not against your constitutional rights. It just, just do it so we can keep our license, okay? I mean, they should, they should be able to appreciate that, that you guys are going to get in trouble if you don't follow the rules. And they should go, okay, well, I don't want this girl to get in trouble. So there you go. Yeah, good job, gamer girl. Well, you know, I think we should do these... Um, I, should I, when I upgrade the memory, should I stream Star Citizen for you guys? Would you like that over on Twitch? Or over on uh, Old Nerd Reviews too? Either one. Both. Anyway, I think we should do the review. Gamer Girl, did you see my Pelican that I got over at Cracker Barrel? I got him today. He was five bucks. Any cute? He's got his little sailor hat on, and he's holding a little little um, life preserver, and he just sits on the counter with his little ducky feet or his little pelican feet. Isn't he cute? Five bucks, four ninety nine. The Sponge Monkey commercials for Quiznos. I don't. I don't. Either one. Okay. Kept screaming that he'd been coming here for years and should get the alcohol. My co-worker didn't give in. She just... See, that's stupid. That's so dumb. Why... Life is already full of enough turmoil without creating it when it doesn't need to be there. Why would you do that to yourself? That's so dumb. Need one of those. Hey, Waka, 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 Waka. Yeah, I think it's cute too. Yeah, you can get them at Cracker Barrel. You may be able to get them online at uh, the Cracker Barrel website. I don't know what they have there. Put in the car so his legs can flop. <laughs> I wouldn't want the sun to uh, uh, fade him. I don't know if the sun would fade him. And I wouldn't want that. So, yeah, he just sits on my bookshelf over there just with his little legs dangling over the side there i think it's fun and he's nautical so it makes me think of the beach you know i i still every morning i walk out the door and it's like i am a local summer vacationer you know just every day it's just like i walk out the door and i know i'm that close to the water whether it's bays or whether it's the ocean, the the Gulf of Mexico. 
um but uh, the beach but I mean, it's so weird i still feel like i'm on vacation every single day and i've been here over two and a half years uh i asked if he had a phone number with us but he didn't give it and said he would never come back okay bye yeah you just wave bye as he hits the door don't let the door hit you where the good lord split you closest cracker barrel who's two hours away ah that's too bad well check the website maybe they have him on the website stormed out of the store i'm guessing that's when he was growing his parents spoiled him gave him well see if he's 67 then his parents should have been a lot better because i mean parents a long time ago like that are supposed to were supposed to be a lot better it's gotten a lot worse now for for younger kids but um that's stupid now let him he, he's never going to get his way as long as good people stand up to it i do not have a fire pit i'd like to have a fire pit maybe i'll get one maybe i'll dig one and make one that'd be fun doesn't check the id of her boyfriend though <laughs> okay Camera girl doesn't have a boyfriend. Are you kidding me? Okay, anyway, let's go ahead and review these. So I found these over at Walmart. Uh, these are Pringles Mexican street corn. Um, I don't know if you saw the review that I did a while back of the Cheetos Mexican street corn, but absolutely love those. Those were so good. Um, so when I saw these, I'm going, oh yeah. This might be good. It's got like Mexican street corn on the corn on the cob and it's got lime up here. Um, so yeah, anyway, so this is a regular size uh, Pringles can and it's got the, the what it is in Spanish there. The, I don't know how you pronounce that. Is that elote? Elote? I don't know how you pronounce that. But anyway, so that is that. Bursting with flavor. Let's hope so, because I loved the, oh man, I mean the, the Cheetos Mexican street corn, they had a cheesiness to them at the same time, and that cheesiness and the Mexican street seasoning was wonderful. Okay, let's open this up. I don't have a real good sniffer. Never have. I, I've always said that my nose is made for breathing rather than smelling things. So it's kind of hard to tell. Um, I really, well, maybe there's a little bit of seasoning on this that I can see. Not much. I thought there'd be a lot more visible. Um, but it looks and it, it feels like a regular Pringle or a regular Pringle. Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's try it again. Hmm. They're not bad. The flavor, it has all that Mex Mexican street corn flavoring, but it's very laid back. Um, it's not exactly bursting with flavor. Not the way those Cheetos were. Um, but I mean, I can't taste everything. I do taste that lime in there and the rest of the seasoning. But it's very, it's very understated. Um, and it's, it's pretty good. It's not some of the best flavors that I've had of Pringles. But it is good. It's not yucky or anything. It's just the, the flavor isn't bursting the way they say it is. But it is a good flavor, but it's just not bursting. Um, anyway, I would give these, I would give these a middle of the road. I like them. They're pretty good. And um, I would get them again as long as they're out. I don't know if this is, it's probably a limited time thing. And um, the, the the damage was uh, for regular Pringles anymore. The damage is like two bucks. It used to be like a dollar fifty, 
Um, and, and sometimes you can go over to Dollar Tree and get it for $1.25, a regular size can of Pringles. But this was two bucks. Um, so yeah, it's not bad. I, I, I kind of like it. I just wish the flavors were more pronounced like they did with the Cheetos. Also, 99% of the time, it's older people are rude. See, that's that's just not right. That seems so strange. Old people like us should know better. We should know better to, to treat people like we want to be treated. I mean, he wouldn't want to be treated like that. So what makes him think he should be able to get away with treating other people like that? It's horrible. Nope, got him at Walmart. And that's the first time I've seen them. Yeah, they're pretty good. Just just not as, as flavorful as I would have liked. And I, I'm judging them by the Cheetos. Yeah, uh, the, the Dollar Tree over here has Jones Soda too. Pretty much constantly. They have peanut butter flavored bubbles. Bubbles? Huh? Bubbles? Are, are you talking, is that like a flavor of Jones Soda? Fla flavored, peanut butter flavored bubbles? What the hell's a bubble? Like soap? What? Peanut noodles. Um, I, I don't think I've ever had that. I don't know. Is that like a Thai thing? Sounds kind of like it would be a Thai thing. Spaceballs, cheese balls. No, I, I've never seen those, Chevy. It's a bubble that you blow, but flavored and edible. That sounds weird. That sounds very odd. Huh, weird. So it's obviously just made for the kitties, huh? Because I can't see, it. even as an adult, even as a, a nerdy 60-year-old, I don't think I'd be getting bubbles. I don't know. You know, if I enjoyed it, then I wouldn't have a problem doing it. You, you, you know, you do what you enjoy and you don't care what anybody else says. Hmm. Yeah, that was pretty good. Not too bad. I do like the flavor. Just not as as bursting as I would have liked it to be. Not as bursting as they made it. I need to go get some some great knee high again from that that little fishing store um, down at the marina. That was good. I've still got the bottle because I like the bottle. But yeah, great great knee high. I'm gonna have to try some of the flavors that they have of the sodas that they have over at uh, Cracker Barrel, too. They've got some really weird, different flavors. They had a key lime flavor of soda over there that I saw this morning when I when I got my Pelican. Um, so I'm going, ooh, I like key lime pie. Maybe that would be really, really good. They've got these peanut butter mallow cups, too. So they're kind of like uh, uh, Reese's. Peanut butter cups, only they've got uh, marshmallow in them. And obviously peanut butter, these ones. Do I like almonds? Yes, I do. I like almonds. I like almonds. I like pecans. Um, I like hazelnuts. Um, not a, a walnut fan. Um, oh, and I like cashews. I think my favorite kind of nut is a cashew love cashews but they're expensive as crap have you seen the candied pine cones i have not that sounds weird where are those have you ever been to a culinary arts school to learn how to fold a burrito i never have my son graduated from a culinary art school a culinary school but uh no, I mean, I, I've watched videos on YouTube of them folding burritos at Taco Bell and stuff. 
We scan IDs at my store. Some people get mad and accuse us of storing their data, but they have smartphones. Yeah, I, that are storing their data. Yeah, that's really short-sighted on their part. That's stupid. Ever tried a pomfu? Pomfu. It's made from pumpkin seeds. No, I never have. What, what is it exactly? Are you an avid prune eater? No. Ugh. I don't like prunes. I don't like raisins. I mean, partly because of the texture. Weird texture. But also because of the flavor. Ugh. Nope. Nada. And I'm regular, too. In spite of all the crap that I eat, I'm regular. It's like tofu. Ooh, that's nasty. That's icky. Can't do prunes. Yeah, don't do prunes. Be smart, kids. Don't do prunes. Or beets. Oh, yeah. Beets make me gag. That's nasty. Tried banana chips. I have. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they're like, um, um, I want to say freeze-dried, but that's not the right thing. Um, what am I thinking of? Um, what am I thinking of? What kind of process am I thinking of, guys? What's Jones Soda? It's a, it's a brand of soda. It's, it's a very famous brand of soda, uh, who, who often has some very strange flavors. Let me go ahead and bring up, and I'll show you if I can bring up something. Okay, the original craft soda. Okay, let me go ahead and bring it over here to the desktop. Okay, there's Jones Soda website. So, um, new Jones Craft dog soda. Okay, that's odd. What is what the crap is that? Okay, it doesn't. It's not clickable. Limited edition. Well, show me some of the stuff big so I can see it. I'm blind. I'm an old guy. Be nice to me. Um. Okay. Let's go to all items. I guess. Okay. Jones Craft dog soda. Turkey and gravy flavored, beef stock flavored, chicken stock flavored. What? That's icky. So it's actually for your dog. No, I wouldn't be getting soda for my dog. I would love my dog if I had one, but not bad enough, not enough to get him soda. I mean, that would be unhealthy, though. See, it's cane sugar in Jones. They have a leprechaun green apple. That sounds good. And a pot of gold pineapple cream. That sounds good, too. Okay. Um, um, A to Z. Let's see what the best selling is. They have a, a Nuka Cola Victory. That's, is that, oh, look. Okay, so that is for Fallout, which I haven't started watching yet. Have any of you guys started watching Fallout on Amazon Prime? So, yeah, that's like from Fallout. Interesting. If I find that around here, I'll I'll grab one and review it. A berry lemonade. There's a foo foo berry cane sugar. There's a blue bubble gum. Cream soda. Berry lemonade. A fruit basket. But yeah, th this is what the. Uh, this is what the label looks like, Waka. So if you're ever in the store, a werewolf piss? A were- What? 
They got a werewolf piss soda. What in the crap? If I if I ever find this, I will review it. What's the other stuff? A zombie juice, werewolf piss, and bloodsucker. Okay, that's weird. This sounds this sounds the weirdest of all of them. But if I can find that, I will review it for you guys. Werewolf piss. Oh my gosh, what am I getting myself into? Jones soda dog toy. <laughs> ah, there's that key lime pie soda. Okay, so they've got one too. It, the the one that I saw at uh, Cracker Barrel is not Jones. It's it's some other brand of key lime pie, but they have got a key lime soda too. Interesting. Okay, so anyway, that's Jones soda. So if you ever see that in your in your store, uh, you'll you'll know what you're looking at. Uh, how do you eat your bananas since you don't like the texture? Um, I get the I I make them into smoothies. Um, I like the banana flavor, the fake banana flavor. Um, Slurpees at Seven Eleven, um, or any kind of like that. Um, I I love the banana flavor. I just don't like the texture of them. I can't eat them though. I mean, it's not such a weird texture that I will not eat a banana, but I prefer to have it like in a smoothie or something. Sliced. No, not sliced. That's not what I was thinking of. Uh, dry. I don't know. How do you make banana chips? What what is that process? I have it in the just on the tip of my tongue and I cannot think of it. Have you ever had jacama? No, I don't know what that is. They used to have Joan Soda in the gas stations here and all been gone for probably 10 years. Wow, really? Have I ever heard of creepy pasta? No, you're you guys are pulling out stuff that I've never heard of. What's that? They're mushy enough where you won't show. Well, I'm not scared of choking. It's just the texture. I eat by texture. Berry lemonade. Yeah, that's a, that does sound good. See, I I I like. I like regular lemonade. I don't like pink lemonade. I don't know what I'd think of berry lemonade. Yes, that is some crazy flavors. Werewolf piss. No, I never really thought about it, Chevy, uh, if if how much they, they put into that. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's really popular brand, so maybe they've just got money to burn. Does Jones said have alcohol in it? No, it doesn't. It's just regular soda. <laughs> Werewolf piss. It does sound fun. That's a word for it. Zombie soda. There's some other companies on Amazon that sells crazy flavor. Yeah, I've seen those. Grass, butter, corn. Yeah, I've seen those. But they, they cost so friggin' much to grab on Amazon. Yeah, it's not freeze dried that I'm thinking of either. I mean, there are some ovens that you can get that are actually for your kitchen or standalone that does this process that I'm thinking of. Why can't I think of it? It's how they make beef jerky. How do they make beef jerky? Maybe maybe that'll strike your guys' memories. Brined. No, not brined. Embalmed. <laughs> yeah, embalmed. Cornflakes or Rice Krispies? Rice Krispies, definitely. Uh, they have a better flavor. Cornflakes, I mean, as soon as you pour them in the milk, they get soggy. And I don't like that. I have uh, a knockoff brand of Frosted Flakes that I get from Walmart. But yeah, cornflakes are there. Texture again. No, not baked. Corned. 
dehydrated, dehydrated. Ryan, you hit the nail on the head, dehydrated. Yep, that's it. Ryan, ding, 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 ding. Ryan got it. That's what I was trying to think of. So yeah, that's how they make those banana chips. They dehydrate those. Stewed, yeah. Emulsified. <laughs> Not buying any Kellogg's products after what the C. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yep. 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 All these, all these woke companies just burying themselves. It's just like, oh, you know, if you want to, if, if you want to just cut out the middleman and save yourself hassle, just take a lighter and burn all your money in a big pile and just say, okay, I'm done. Broiled. Yeah. <laughs> Dehydrated is what I was thinking. Of. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I think we need to do the Wheel of Fun. I think we do. So let me go ahead and pull it up here. Wheel of Fun. Oh, you know who we haven't seen today? Who haven't we haven't seen today? Y'all know. Y'all know. I remember when. I remember, I remember when I lost Okay, I don't know where the video went to. Did I put something over the video? Maybe it's, hold on. Let me go ahead and bring the fart lady up to the top of my sources. Maybe she was hidden. I mean, we got to hear her, but we didn't get to see her. Okay, let's try it again. Try it again. Oh, there she is. Okay, she was just out of place. All right, thank you, fart lady, for making your appearance finally. You, you toothless fart lady. Uh, back in your younger days, did you use to splash Old Spice? No, not not Old Spice. I've used um, Jovan Musk. I think it's Jovan Musk. I think I've used that forever, ever since I was in high school. Bananas in tzatziki sauce? That sounds really weird. Made a working chassis. Cool, Lego. My buddy used to spray people's food with Axe deodorant. Oh, he sounds like a real charmer. That's right. She's in the basement. Oh, I remember that. That that cologne in the bottle shaped like an old car. I remember that. Never used it, but I remember it. Okay, so anyway, uh, let's go up, ring up the wheel of fun. Let's see if that, okay, that's still in the right place. All right, let's spin it. See what we get. And the winner is Donnie Marie. Okay, we had Carol. Didn't we have Carol last week? Did we have Carol last week or Mr. Rogers? Okay, but it's Donnie Marie tonight. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Oh, yeah, all the sounds work now. All the sounds work. I mean, they worked last week, too. It was the week before that I was having problems with it. Yeah, I think it was Carol Waka. It was broke? No, no, not. I think that was the week before Chevy. Because we did Carol last week. Yeah, it worked last week. Maybe you just didn't hear it. I still have my arrowhead necklace some girl bought for me. Oh, wow. We're having soft tacos oh, Joy Gomez just subscribed. Welcome, Joy. To the channel, thank you for the subscription, my dear, my dear. Are you here on the stream, or did you just sub to the channel? Either way, happy to have you. I I remember having one of those arrowhead necklaces. Yeah, they they hung about right there, with the the the. It was on a leather. Usually they were on a leather brown leather chain. Well, it's not chain, but you know what I'm saying. 
Okay, so anyway, let's do Donnie Marie. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. May tomorrow be a perfect day. May you find love and laughter along the way. May God keep you in his tender care. Till he brings us together again. Good night, everybody. All right, there was Donnie. Donnie Marie. I follow Donnie on TikTok. He's a cool guy. Yeah, Avon's been around forever. I mean, ever since I remember. So, yeah, I don't know when they started. Probably ask Michael. Michael will know. Yours was on a silver chain. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, mine was back in the 60s or 70s that I had mine. 70s more likely but yeah it was it was decked out like you know like indian stuff so it was a brown leather strip never had one of those well it's not like you're missing much but they were cool the toys r us christmas catalog well they have toys r us all throughout canada now don't they and i think there's a few down here in the u.s now which is kind of cool. The vanilla ice. Ice, ice, baby. Hey, Brent. How you doing, man? Coming in on the tail end of stuff, Hello. buddy. But you're Hello. still here. Welcome, welcome. We're just kind of tying things up right now. How you been? How's your week? So, anybody got any plans for the weekend? Um, I'm thinking that maybe I'm going to be moving the live stream to Saturday for the next at least four weekends. Um, there is a spring concert series that's going on right now. Just, just a hop, skip, and jump where they have live music outside in, in this one park down here. And I'd like to go and see them, and, but they're only on Fridays. And it's like right in the middle of what would be the stream. So I'm going, okay, well, I can't tell them, you know, I got a live stream, so please don't do it until like Saturday or something like that. But I can move the live stream to Saturday for next four or five, I think it would be, until the series is over. But I would like to do that, so I'll probably do that. Toys R Us in U.S. is in Macy's. Oh, so you've been there. It's a joke? Well, that's sad. I like I like Toys R Us. At least when I was a kid, I did. I worked there for a little bit. I, I worked there a Christmas season building bicycles. No? Um, free games? Uh, let me see. Hold on. Let me go ahead and bring them up. I think I got the recent ones. Uh, they're, they're starting to repeat some games that they've already offered. I think, hold on, let me go ahead and bring you over. Uh, let's see, where are we here? Desktop. There we go. So go down, 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 down. Yeah. So they're offering Ghost Runner again. So if you didn't get it the first time around, get this game. It's very cool. They've got Ghost Runner 2 out now. I, I haven't played that one. But one is a lot of fun. It's very cool. It takes some skill. And then they have the big con coming out. I don't know what that is. Grift of the Year edition. I have no idea. And then Town of Salem 2. I have no idea what that is more either. So that's what they have this week. So, yep. That's what they have out right now. I mean, usually they have... They have two at a time, um, but this week, I guess it's just one. This is through the 18th, so at least now you know, right? Now you know. Now you know. I've got so many games. Oh, uh, one of my most recent ones that I got, the, the one that I got last week was right here. Call of the Wild, the Angler. So, so um, Freddie would have liked that. 
I, I've never played a fishing game, so, but I mean, if it's free, I may, you know, if it even tweaks my interest a little bit, free is free. So I'll, I'll get it. And, you know, but see, as you can see, I've already got Ghost Runner in here. I got it a long time ago when they offered it the first time. Um, but yeah, I, I've got so much stuff here in Epic that like, like Ed in Steam, I haven't even played. Guacamelee, those are so much fun. They're so funny. And there's Fallout New Vegas. Dishonored and Dishonored, Death of the Outsider, Definitive Edition. I have not played either one. Here's Fallout Tactics. I have no idea. Here's Fallout, a post-nuclear role-playing game. So is that like the first one? I don't know. I have it, though. Here's Fallout 2. Here's Quake. Quake, Quake, Quake. And there's Doom 64. Cook, serve, delicious three. Fall guys. There's Wolfenstein, the new order. Ah, there's the Bioshocks. Man, Epic used to put out so many good games for free. Got all three of these for free from Epic, even though I bought them on Steam when they first came out. Got Prey for free. Eric knows how good Prey is. Got all three of the Tomb Raiders for free. Got Control for free, even though I've, I I installed it, but I've never played it. But I mean, it's supposed to be really good. A Plague's, uh, Plague Tale for free. Train Sim World 2 for free. Jurassic World Evolution for free. City Skylines for free. Elite Dangerous for free. Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 Complete Edition for free. Railroad Empire for free. Civilization 6. Is that 6? V1? Is that 6? Or is that four? I never can't keep that straight. Just cause four. Farming Simulator 19. I got it for free. Didn't like it. Got bored. Fell asleep. But yeah. I mean, they used to put out really good games. Excellent. A, A games for free. Now, not so much. But the, the Shadow Runner will be good. Um, just a small section for the Toys R Us. Ah, that's too bad. Then that's just like toys. It's like, why even moniker with the name? That's kind of dorky. The more you know in BC. Probably going to have to add rubber pieces to the tracks. Okay, well, cool. Ghost Simulators. <laughs> yeah, Ghost Simulator is awesome. I love it. It's so fun. It's so goofy. Got Guacamelee on Steam, Epic, Nintendo Switch, and my Nintendo Wii U. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a fun game. Both, both games are good. Have I ever read The Outsiders? I've never read the book, but I've seen the movie. And I loved it. It was good. Francis Ford Coppola directed that. Yep. Yeah, we were talking about WrestleMania a little bit earlier. 
Brent. Um, and, and that's one thing that I'm really excited about is that now that now that Vince is out of the picture and Triple H is running the show, they're calling it pro wrestling again, which is very cool. I wish they would stop calling the superstars or stop calling the wrestlers superstars and go back to calling them just wrestlers again. Although I did hear it a couple times from people. I, I think I think he's given them the option not to say it. They're they're just I don't think he said, okay, don't say this anymore, say this. I think he's just pulled it back to where Vince was saying, you can't say this. And, and Trip is saying, you know, call it what you want to. But yeah, I love that they're calling it pro wrestling again. And blading again. Getting some blood in there. Oh, you got it on your PlayStation 4? And Wow. What's a PlayStation Vita? Never heard of that. Yeah, see, Eric knows. Prey is excellent. What site is this? That is Epic Games. That is the Epic Games launcher. Just go to, just Google Epic Games, download the launcher, and they give free games uh, each week. And and you can buy games there too if you want. So it's it's kind of like Steam. It's Epic Epic's version of Steam. Have a lot of tiles I wish I had for free. Yeah, they they used to give away some really a a stuff. It's definitely giving them more creative control, and that's good because that makes for a happy, um, happy group of guys and gals. And, and Paul Heyman just seems to be over the moon about Trip being in charge now. PlayStation Vita was Sony's last handled, no longer sport. Yeah, I never he heard of that. Was that like some some flash in the pan? Something was it just short lived? Although I, I've never been a console guy, you know, the, the, the old school stuff, the Nintendo, Super Nintendo, NES, or Super NES, N64, GameCube, those were the extent of my consoles. And the only other handheld thing I have is a Switch. Otherwise, I've been a PC guy all my life. Handheld, okay. Absolutely. Psycho, you hit the nail on the head. I love how they call it professional wrestling now, calling it sports entertainment. is a slap of the face to legends like Harley Race, Freddie Blassie, Bob Lapp. Yep, Bruno. Absolutely. Absolutely. I 100% agree with you. In fact, I may share, um, I, I used to run the site portlandwrestling.com. I may share some of my, um, I did some blogging on, on what I thought of the state of uh, pro wrestling and what I thought the problems were and how they could fix them and stuff. I could have been a booker. I, I think I really could have been a booker. Um, and um, I may have to share that with you guys sometime. I'm not sure where. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll I'll do it on my Kofi. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so anyway, that is all, guys. Yeah, TNA, uh, well... TNA, I I wouldn't say they're still going strong. I'd say they're hanging in there. Um, you know, before Hogan came and Dixie Carter, TNA was awesome. I thought, oh man, something to compete with Vince. And when they ate, when they had the eight sided, you know, ring and and Samoa Joe was there and AJ was there and and all the the old guys were there. Um, that they had before Hogan came along and Dixie came along. It was great. And then after they came along, all of a sudden it started going downhill real freaking quick. And when Jeff Jarrett left, that's when it really sunk to a new low. So, I mean, they're still hanging in there, but I wouldn't say they're going strong. They, they really blew it. And I don't, obviously they're never going to recover. I mean, I guess they could. It would, it would be hard press, but they could. What TV shows did you watch growing up? Oh, 70s stuff, 60s stuff. Um, I don't know. You'd have to kind of name a decade for me to go because we could go like, I was raised on TV. I raised myself on TV. Um, some of my favorite shows um, was uh, Sid and Marty Croft stuff. 
for for Saturday morning stuff like you know Lidsville and HR Puff and stuff and and uh, Sigmund and the Sea Monsters, Land of the Lost. Um, as far as I liked a lot of the Irwin Allen stuff. Uh, so we're talking like Time Tunnel, Land of the Land of the Giants, Lost in Space. Um, I love Wild Wild West. And I still watch these on, on certain streaming services. Um, Batman, of course, 1966 Batman. Um, I loved The Cosby Show. I loved Roseanne. Um, Boy Meets World is one of my favorite shows. Um, Kung Fu with David Carradine. Love that show. Uh, loved Beretta. Loved um, Emergency. Adam 12. Uh, let's see what else. Love The Walking Dead. That's more recent stuff. Loved Blacklist. More recent stuff. Um, trying to think some of the stuff that I have on DVD that I got. Uh Oh, you're leaving, Waka? All right. Well, have a good one, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. Tony Khan is a clown. <laughs> you don't like Tony? I think Tony's pretty cool. He's a wrestling fan, though, more than anything. I like Tony. Yeah, I've seen TNA. I, I watch it. That's, uh, that's how I... I I know that I can state that it's not as good as, as it used to be, how it originally was. Not a fan of Vince Russo. Seemed like, he had, oh yeah, Vince was weird. I mean, he did some weird storylines. Blank on a pole matches. Yeah, really. When you were in elementary school, what did you watch? Um, Gumby. See, a lot of the stuff that I watched as a kid, I still watch. Um, I watch old episodes of Gumby on Amazon Prime. Um, so I love Gumby. Gumby's fun. Um, let me think of some of the other stuff I watch. My Three Sons. I'm watching that through again. Love that show. Uh, Eight is Enough is one of my faves. Love Boat. Love that. Loved uh, Frasier, the original one, and the, the reboot I'm really liking. Um, I, I'm a big Trekkie, so I love Star Trek, the original series. Never could get into um, Next Generation. Uh, loved Voyager. Love Voyager. Never could get into Deep Space Nine either. Uh, couldn't get into Discovery. I think Discovery was a slap in the face of all Trek fans. Um, Brave New World is cool. Um, did I say Starsky and Hutch? Starsky and Hutch, I like that a lot. Hong Kong Fooey. Yeah, that was a great cartoon. And Love Boat. Absolutely. I, I've seen some of the Lone Ranger and Toto. Never could get into it, really. Classic TV shows. Yeah, I know. That's why you you have Friendly, right? I'm pretty sure you do. I don't have Friendly. Because I get most of the shows that they offer for free on, on stuff like Pluto and some of the free other free stuff. And some of the ones that I already pay for or I get through um, my um, like Verizon who's my carrier and stuff. I was talking about pro wrestling to my cousin who knows nothing. I said TNA. <laughs> and he thought, yeah, yeah, that could be easily misinterpreted. Did you ever watch the claymation? Yeah, I watched Davy and Goliath. Absolutely. You can still see old episodes of Davy and Goliath on uh, Amazon Prime. Psycho, if you didn't know. Yep, total non-stop action. And I'm glad they changed it back. 
You know, I was I I wasn't a fan of them calling it Impact Wrestling. So I'm glad they changed it back to TNA. Do I have a landline phone? No, I do not. Just a cell. Just a cell. But yeah, I, I watched Portlandia. I love Portlandia. Uh, watched that a lot. On um, is it Pluto? No, it's um, what's the name of the service that has the twenty four seven Portlandia on it? Uh, let's see, what is that? Um, oh, I love The Office, not the British one. Couldn't get into it. But I love the American version of The Office. Big Office fan. Um, what is that? Plex. Plex has the 24-7 the Portlandia channel. Um, yeah. And if, if you guys uh, go to Cineverse, Cineverse.com. Here, I'll bring you over real quick. Let's go over to the desktop. If you go over to Cineverse, Cineverse.com, which is all free, you can go to the Sid and Marty Croft channel and you can watch Lidsville, uh, Lost Saucer, which was dorky, uh, Electric Woman and Dinah Girls, Far Out Space Nuts, which was dorky. Uh, I guess they had a short-lived reboot of Land of the Lost. I didn't know about that. Um, they're the Bay City Roller Shows. There's the original Land of the Lost. Sigma and the Sea Monsters, H.R. Puff and stuff. Uh, Croft Super Show, Bugaloos, Dr. Shrinker. Yeah, you, you can watch all this old stuff for free over at Cineverse. And it's just Cineverse.com. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. So you can relive your youth if you're an old guy like me. They also have a Three Stooges channel. I have one called Retro Crush and Midnight Pulp. These are these are B-rated movies. Uh, uh, B-rated movie channel. So yeah, just another place where you can. Go. Oh, there you go. You guys can watch the Bob Ross channel, twenty four seven. There's Elvis Presley channel. Watch all his old stuff, movies and concerts and stuff. Yeah. So anyway, Sid Murdy Croft channel over on Cineverse. You're welcome. Oh, let's see. Ah, da, 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 da. Have you ever gotten a letter from the Pony Express? Oh, get out. I'm not that old. I've been 80s cartoon. No, I, I 80s. See, I graduated high school in 82, so I was pretty much out of uh, cartoons in the 70s. In the 80s stuff, um, my son was born in 89, so I kind of watched some stuff with him, like Rugrats, and I love Ren and Stimpy, uh, and Rugrats is fun. And, um, you know, some of the old classic Nick stuff, Pete and Pete, Oh, Pete and Pete is so funny. It's so weird. Ever watched the Oblongs? I've never heard of that. See, Disney's Recess, that would have been my son. That would have been his generation. Because that was 90s, wasn't it, Brett? <laughs> Yeah, the Sid and Marty Croft stuff is pretty weird, especially Lidsville. But it's fun. I mean, friggin' Land of the Lost, it had some Star Trek writers like David Gerald um, writing for for them. So even though it was a kid show and it was dumbed down to kids, um, the, the, the sci-fi writing, especially in the later third season, was actually fairly good. Well... Actually, I think it was the second season. Third season kind of fell apart, if I remember right. I love HR. HR Puff and Stuff is great. I've got Funkos of HR Puff and Stuff. I've got Kling and Clang, and I've got um, uh, Witchy Poo, which was like a, a Tokyo 
con exclusive or something like that. I was never able to get HR Puff and stuff. Um, never able to get him. He's he's expensive. In the oblongs, the daddy has no arms and no legs, but he has a job because he was denied disability. Oh, that sounds like something that I'd like just to laugh at. Don't really know what to talk about anymore? Well, talk about anything. This is a, a free-flowing forum. The daddy works at a canning factory, so since he has no arms and no legs, he puts the lids on with his mouth. That sounds odd. Uh, yeah, gamer, we actually there's actually an old Nerd Reviews Discord channel that I opened up to some of my my members and stuff, but I, I it I don't have time for it, so it's really not doing anything. But yeah, I am on Discord. Do you have tube? You mean Tubi? Tubi? Uh, yeah. Tubi TV? Yeah. I watch stuff on there. Yeah, uh, Star Trek was filmed at Desi Lu. And, and Lucille Ball was actually the one who got Star Trek their third season because they planned on canceling it earlier. And she said, no, I like this show. I want it to continue. Uh, so, yeah, it was filmed at Desi Luce Studios. All right, gang. Well, anyway, so we did the uh, Wheel of Fun, and we talked for a good long time. In fact, we've talked for over two hours, and it was fun, and drank coffee, and ate chips, and all kinds of good stuff. So, anyway, like I said, probably for the next four or five uh streams it'll be on saturdays instead of fridays uh because i want to go to those summer or those spring concerts as long as they're here and enjoy some live music in the park under the sunshine watch the sunset yeah if you like beavis and butthead and ren and stimpy you like the, oh uh, i liked i liked ren and stimpy wasn't a fan of beavis and butthead but i love weird humor stuff Yeah, yeah, send me a link. I want to see Lego, definitely. Uh, so anyway, so yeah, I'll, I'll move it to Saturday for about the first, for the next four or five weekends. So just plan plan ahead on that. And we'll we'll meet together on Saturday. But anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll have that review for the um, Everything Bagel Cup Noodles up on Monday for you guys to see. Uh, and then I've got another couple things. Like I said, I'm going to hop over to Sam's Club and I'm going to do that pepperoni pizza uh, soft pretzel. And I've got some other stuff planned too. There's some stuff coming out. Uh, interesting stuff. Uh, anything else? No, I think that's about it. So anyway, you know, keep your notifications on here. And if you're not following me or not subscribed... Is it follow or subscribe? I think it's follow over on Twitch. Follow me over on Twitch, Old Nerd Reviews over on Twitch. Um, and you know, you'll get notified if I go live over there. Uh, also, if you have Amazon Prime, you get a free uh, subscription to any channel every single month. That's just a prime benefit. So if you ever wanna shoot me some free money, that's a good way to do it over on Twitch. You can just subscribe with your Amazon Prime uh, and it's free to you and and supports the channel. So that's kind of cool. I appreciate you too, Joe. Thank you very much for being here, sir. Beavers? Beavers and Butthead? One of my recent videos I posted here on YouTube is getting close to reaching 500,000. Nice. Wow. That's awesome, Psycho. Congrats, man. That's cool. Something something must have picked you up either outside of YouTube or YouTube must have like been nice to you. <laughs> it's not nice to everybody. So, so maybe you got picked up on Reddit or something. 
Very cool. Okay, guys. Well, I will leave you with the outro. The outro has not changed. But for those of you guys who got in here late, you missed a good new intro that I'm working on that I really like. Um, so anyway, I will leave you with that. You guys have a freaking awesome weekend, whatever you plan on doing. And I'm going to go get me some dinner. It's 914. I may hop over to Popeye's before they close at 10 and grab myself some chicken. I don't know. It's an idea. All righty, let me go ahead and find, where's the, where's the end screen? Where'd the end screen go? Oh, there it is. I, I always miss it. I don't know what the problem is with finding that. Badgers? We don't need no stinking badgers. All right. Love you guys. Thanks for being here. I will see you soon. Goodbye.